Trinity Campbell, such a remarkable young woman who exudes confidence and optimism, and that is what keeps a smile on her face, even though she's been dealt a tough hand. I wish nothing but the best. For 16-year-old Trinity Campbell, singing, sketching, and writing are powerful outlets to clear her head from the challenges of being bullied and homelessness. Survival mode, it was just like staying in and out of hotels and stuff. We used to have a car, which would get us around, but then the car broke down. Just lovely. And then we would usually sleep in the car. Trinity says academics didn't come easy. My grades were that during homeless. It was failure. I missed like two years of school, so it was terrible. But when she was in school, she said she was surrounded by overwhelming negative energy. They would call me names. They would tell me I'm ugly or stuff like that. And like, I tried to get over it, but it was not one. It was many of them. So it was like a night fighting a dragon. Trinity said she always felt her parents love, but knew they had issues to overcome. They were sent to rehab. After when I was placed in the foster care and discovering Boys and Girls Club, it was like, wow, a whole new world. <laughs> Is that I was able to work, I was able to do something for myself, find a passion for myself. Through it all, she stayed positive. Trinity won the title of this year's New Jersey Youth of the Year by the Boys and Girls Club of America by sharing her story and what she's overcome. It feels Awesome. A girl who came in who was withdrawn and shy is suddenly entering in art competitions, is suddenly singing and performing as a result of, of being in our performing arts program. Her message to her peers? Don't feed into their negativity, just do you. Keep on doing what you want to do. Trinity is a junior at Henry Snyder Academy of the Arts and has her eye set on the Fashion Institute of Technology to become a fashion designer. And Trinity is such an inspiration to the younger members of the Boys and Girls Club. She's actually going to be a CIT, a counselor in training for the summer so that she can help spread the message of confidence and optimism.